smells super nice in here. Flowers. Gross. That's so precious. You want some treats? Look, they're so cute. Here. Come here, baby. My grandfather used to say, life is astoundingly short. To me, looking back over it, life seems so foreshortened that I scarcely understand. For instance, how a young man can decide to ride over the next village without being afraid that not to mention accidents. Even the span of a normal happy life may fall far short of the time needed for such a journey. Should I read Metamorphosis on here? I don't think really any, I mean. <laughs> Hello, the eight people who viewed my last video. Do you guys wanna see me read the whole of Metamorphosis by Kafka? Would you listen, would you sit there and listen to that? Let me know, comment down below. Here's a little fable. Alas, said the mouse, the world is growing smaller every day. At the beginning, it was so big that I was afraid. I kept running and running, and I was glad when at last I saw the walls far away to the right and left. But these walls have narrowed so quickly that I am in the last chamber already. And there in the corner stands the trap that I must run into. You'll need to change your direction, said the cat, and ate it up. That was sad. Poor guy. We do live in a society. You know Kafka said that? Oh, postscript, Albert Camus once said that the whole of Kafka's art consists in compelling the reader to reread him. I'm sure. I do agree, Camus, you know what? Since the interpretations of Kafka are many and the search for the meaning of his story seems seemingly endless, the reader will return to the story itself in hope of finding the guidance from within. True. Agreed. Thus, the second reading will hopefully become a commentary on the first, and subsequent readings will again, hopefully, shed light on the preceding ones. It is the purpose of this volume to provide ready access to the entire corpus of Kafka's stories. They, rather than novels, constitute the very core of his brief life's work.